Hey everyone, this is Burnsoft 7 and 6 foot feet God and welcome to part 1 of Let's Play Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles exclusively for the Wii. Yeah, you've played this but I haven't. Yes. So, all I know is there's a lot of guff. Yes. Yeah, health warning, uh, this Let's Play contains copious amounts of guff and also this whole thing's commentated so if you don't like commentary please hit your back button now. Yeah, because this is a Let's Play and for all you whiny people... Oh, we got sound. This is Red Queen talking, which is uh, the Umbrellas Com uh, Corporation's main computer thing that stores everything. Yeah, and I was saying earlier... And then to Wesker. I was saying earlier that it sounds a hell of a lot like... GLaDOS. Yeah, that's the one. Yes. There's Portal, if anyone doesn't know. What state is Raccoon City in? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but those of you who have never ever played Resident Evil before, don't be discouraged from not picking up this game, because uh, it basically covers what happens in the game. Uh, Wesker's explained here, but we're talking about over it. Basically, a uh, corporation called Umbrella tries to engineer biological weaponry, goes wrong, makes zombies, zombies infect city, uh, fight off zombies, doesn't work very well, so they have to blow up city. That's basically it. And the stuff that turns them into zombies is called the T-Virus. Yeah. And, that, and that's about it. Yeah. Uh, and basically this game covers the story of Resident Evil 0, 1 and 3. Resident Evil, Evil 0? Yeah. Oh, it, it's a prequel. And it's the first oh, one we're going to go to, actually. Our, our first scenario. Uh, two's absent from this, but that's because it's being included in Dark Side Chronicles, which is coming out in winter. So it's sort of like a Claire Redfield mega adventure. That's winter pack of 2009, thing. if you're watching. Later. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. It's guff. It's a lot of guff. Exploding guff. Whoa. That's the guff we were talking about, I, people. I, I, I didn't need to see that. No. That, that was awful. It looks a bit like pussy kind of bubos. Bubo is a great word, don't you think? <laughs> no, I mean. Not I really. Just, it's what do you mean, not really? It is Bubo. Well, 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 yeah, I know the word is, but I mean the connotations that go with it. Oh, no. Uh, I'm afraid it's just me playing, it's going to be normal. Yeah. If any, if anyone's, like, infected with the plague, I'm sorry. But <laughs> I doubt you are, unless you live with rats. <laughs> yes. Do you live with rats? Okay, I okay. thought so. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, we're starting off with Resident Evil Zero. Uh, prequel, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, two main characters, Rebecca Chambers and Billy. Oh, Guff! Oh my god. Ah, oh, whoa, ceiling Guff! Apparently, technically, they're leeches, but they're Guff in our eyes. Yeah, but they're, they're completely wrong. It's, it's definitely Guff. Yeah, they should name them like Guff leeches. The guff made or, the or at least just crash. Guff. <laughs> oh my god. It's powerful Guff. There's Rebecca and Billy, who we'll meet up with very, very soon. Uh, basically, there's been a series of murders around this area. You're checking it out. Go aboard this train and there's uh, zombies! And guff. And guff. <laughs> a lot of very, guff. Very dangerous guff. Yeah, and the police department that Rebecca is part of is called Stars. Special tactical. Oh my god, it's a single guff. It, what do you call a single guff? I don't know. I Well, well, um, well is it like sheep where both singular and plural is just guff? There's a zombie! My name's Earl! I want your gun. <laughs> you touched my baby. God, he got angry when he touched my gun. He touched the gun. And enter Billy. Oh, I thought that was her. No. I was wondering how the hell did she do that from the floor. <laughs> Looks like dead um thingy, my god. Um thingy, my god. What? Yeah. Oh, what do you call him? Thingy, um, my god. What? Uh, what? oh god, um, what do you call him? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> um, from Alone in the Dark. Uh, Eddie can't be. Yeah. He does a bit, a little bit. Yeah. His hair definitely does. Yeah. Uh, those, of you, those of you not in the know, this is a sort of like arcade, archaic shooter rather. Yeah. I, sh uh, I should say. Like House of the Dead, is it? Well, yeah. yeah. So, you, the basic thing is you point at what you want dead and press B. Bye! Oh man, you missed. No, I'm taking my time. Ba uh, basically, if you shoot a zombie in the head, then you'll kill it instantly, like that. Uh, and you can tell, like, every enemy's got a critical point somewhere over on the body. Normally yeah. it's the head. Yeah, so if you shoot exactly there, then they'll just die instantly. Uh, instead of aiming for right between the eyes, what you should do is aim right at the crown of the head, the top of the head. You'll get right. it a lot easier. Ooh, blood fountain. 
Mm, tasty. Uh, and if you smash stuff, like chandeliers, then you get extra points. And you waggle the remote to reload. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Smosh. Why would you want to turn off the lights? Surely that's not helpful. Uh, well, no, it's not. You can't see uh, enemies, but, if, uh, but you get more lights for... No, sorry. You get more points for shooting out lights because, you know, you're putting yourself in extra danger. But, but it's worth it because you get some nice and lookables, like extra levels and stuff. Ooh. So, like, <laughs> so, like pictures and anything that can be shot. Ah. <laughs> well, this is basically a tutorial for critical hitting. Now, okay. strangely, I got loads of critical hits before, but now I'm missing constantly. There we go. Yeah. Take that painting. <laughs> it's really, it's really funny when uh, you're in scenario two because there's a zombie chasing up the staircase. And you can sort of shoot pictures down to land on his head, so it slows him down. It's like <laughs> no. You shoot things to pick it up. Yeah, ammo. No, I must shoot it. No, that no, will help. No, you press A to pick it up. Oh, hang on. Oh no, it's guff. Oh dear. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! If, it, if Guff lands on your face, then you hold down A and waggle to get your knife out. I, I don't understand how knifing your own face is supposed to help. That's a bit <laughs> strange. But Can you imagine what it looks like? Ah! Oh, oh my god! That's Whoa! Go. My god! That, uh, oh dear. If you really think about it, it'll just be like a guy just kind of going... <laughs> Hit yeah. the light for God's sake! It'll land on them and kill I, them. I know, but in Bloody Town Crash is four or five. Oh, a guff zombie! Oh my God! Yeah, yeah if too much guff gals together, it'll turn to a guff zombie. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Town Crash is four or five. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, but in order to clear bugs off your face, you're supposed to shoot your own face with a shotgun. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> so damn, I didn't think about my face. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Face? Oh, it's over there. Okay. What happened to your face? I don't know, it just happened so often. Um, that we just picked up, and you see in the bottom left hand corner is a first aid spray. That's basically an extra life if you die. And right. you pick up green herbs to restore your health. Fair enough. Yes. Ooh, it's all wet, and we're shooting guff on top of a train. Anything glinty and shiny means you pick up it. That's 150 machine gun rounds, and you've got more weapons. Right. Based on how far you go in the game. I think you're better, obviously, than the last one. As a basic premise. <laughs> now, that in the actual game is where Billy or Rebecca, depending on who you are at that point, electrocutes himself and gets locked in a little dining car. And you have to mess around with a dumb waiter. Oh, I like them. Yes. Those are things that move up and down and everything, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Only it's electric. Oh. It's fancy. No one has a dumb waiter anywhere anymore. Yeah, really old hotels do. You know the sort of tall ones, with like loads of floors and stuff oh, like right. space and stuff. Don't call me princess. Don't call me princess. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna have a little rant about Rebecca's voice actor in this game, but you'll have to wait till next time. Oh, my go, oh dear. Yeah. This is usually where we forget. Or like already say it really early. Yes, this is not our part. first last play. It's our first successful one, at least we think. Hope so. Hopefully. So yeah, we say that. we're gonna jump in here and then we're gonna oh. end right there. So we'll see you next time. I think it's still too early, you know. Is it? Oh dear. Uh, flubber job. There we go. Do that. Right, do you think? All right, see yeah. ya.